Perfect. Welcome into Tips for Gamers, and in today's video, we're going to show you how to recruit like an absolute legend in the best football game that ever existed, which is NCAA 2014. They're actually thinking about coming out with a new one, or it's projected that they're going to come out with a new one this next summer. Uh, so that's really exciting. We'll see how they do. But we're going to bring it back old school today and show you how to recruit like a monster and absolute legend in this. We got 13. We're about to have 14 five-star uh, prospects signed. We have nine four-star and one three-star. Not too bad. We've done better, but we're going to show you how we've done this. And before we jump into the video, guys, if you would like to help out our company, commenting down below really, really helps us. Leaving a like and sharing our new Minecraft resource pack called T4G's Builder Pack. It really, really helps us go a long ways, guys, and we cannot thank you enough. It is the most realistic Minecraft resource pack for PC Java Edition. We have stucco. We have great wood. Amazing doors that will only get better in bricks. That will shock you. If anyone you know plays Minecraft, make sure to share our pack with them by sharing our video, which will be in the link in the description below or in the top right corner of your screen. It'll pop up. And sharing our Patreon link, which will be pinned in the comments down below, guys. We cannot thank you enough for doing this for us we are trying to make this pack readily available for everyone and uh, we cannot thank you guys enough we really put a lot of hard work into this and we appreciate you guys who help us out with this thank you so remember we're going to be showing you how to do this with a big school and then a small school that i just jump on as well and the, the one thing that you need to have is insta commit okay insta commit is huge you should be able to get insta commit fairly quickly within a few seasons uh to three seasons something like that uh, depending on how much you win. But you, you only need one ins to commit unlocked. If you have one out of three, you're fine. If you have two out of three or three out of three upgrades completed, uh, then you're good. Locksmith is not as big. Okay, Locksmith, you know, you don't need to fully upgrade this before moving on to ins to commit. At least I wouldn't. And the other thing to save you some time is I wouldn't even touch the game management. Not even the slightest would I touch the game management because it just, it's not going to benefit you compared to completing your recruiting tree not even close just a word of advice i would make sure to continuously save as much as you can so since i have insta commit it's very very easy uh for my coach right and you got to think about it right now i have a 20 percent chance that well, some of these guys here are going to instantly commit when i offer them a scholarship now the big thing you want to think about here is you want to think about odds okay if you ever thought about odds and vegas odds and things like that if they ever told you it was like 20 percent, you had a 20 percent chance to uh, win the lottery or something like that um and you could play it you know as many times as possible um you would do that right so i'm gonna go down the list here and right now i am just incredibly unlucky now the only way you could get insta commit is if they're first on your list right so these guys here that they're not first on my list i'm not i'm not offering them anything so right here i ended up getting this guy uh to come through scouted him and uh you know he's good i didn't scout him the cpu did uh but yeah so this guy likes us as well hopefully we can get maybe a second one now navy's doing really good so i'm gonna have to be competing with navy I will see that guy didn't want to do it go through didn't want to do it I got to make sure I'm not doing this to the guy I didn't scout I um, mean he's okay anyways but this guy scouted not gonna worry about him this guy scouted he's a he's okay uh, I don't also don't want any Juco okay there are people who like Juco I'm not wasting a single second on Juco uh, just because it's it's not profitable. I'd rather have, maybe if you're in the beginning of one, but even if I'm in the beginning of a new team and I have Insta Commit, I, I'm just, I'm never going to mess with Juco. And I want to steal some of these guys from teams that are very tough in the recruiting level. Like, I'd like to get this guy. Um, I'd like to steal him from Bama, you know, because he's from Bama too. So I'm going to just offer him a scholarship too. Um, and he'll be a guy I want to steal quickly because I'm number two on his list. I would love to steal him from Alabama. That would just, to me, bring me so much joy. Anyways, I'm going through. This guy sucks. And in reality, you know, I didn't get very many guys. Um, some of these guys are just, you know, I just didn't get them. So, unfortunately, didn't get too many of these guys. Now, the odds aren't over. So, what I'm going to do is since these guys did not accept the scholarship with me, I'm just going to boot them all off my off my team so after i booted all these guys off my team i'm gonna go back on and add them again 
Do you see the rhyme and reason of what I'm doing here? And there's a big thing, too. Later on in the future, you're going to want to pick guys that have a low lock percentage as well. However, you don't want to worry about whether they have a scholarship or not. I don't care if another school offered them a scholarship. I don't care if um, I basically don't care about anything another team is doing. As long as I can be somewhat close, uh, I'm trying to make their life hell. Because if they have to focus on me too and defending me for a guy that they should easily get, uh, you know, that's just, it's not going to be great for them. But I really want to be strict with who I'm picking up. And, uh, you know, the rest of these guys, they're okay. This guy's all right. It, it, you know, we'll see if I scout him and he ends up being, you know, really good. Who knows? We'll see how good he is. But these are the guys, too, that I want to steal away from these other schools. I would love to bring him on. That would just be hilarious. Uh, but some of these guys, scouting-wise, I'm just curious to see how good they actually are. 71. Eh. Eh. The guy's actually got some decent numbers there. Horrible. You're not good at all. So and I'm basically looking. And, there, you know, you can look at the bench press. You can look at the squat. You can look at a lot of different things to determine how good a guy is, right, and try to find guys who, you know, are really good user players and things like that. Um, you know, you can also go and put tight ends at the fullback position. They're really good there. You can move offensive linemen all across the board as well. Definite things you can do. Wide receiver to halfback that have incredible 40 times, the agility, acceleration, speed, the combos there. Um, you got to have good elusiveness as well. Elusiveness is key. Um, you know, because like this is a really good fullback, Anthony Brown. I, I really like him. I mean, he's a good, good fullback. Uh, but there's so many different things you could do. But in reality, once you start to use this method, you're you're actually in a much better situation. So the big thing that I'm going to do here is just go up, and now I find the guys right out there. That's actually a really good fullback. I got to get rid of that other fullback. All right. So where did my guys start? I mean, dear lord, where are all the guys that? Are first on my list it seems like it's like 8,000 of them anyway so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna run through it again because what I'm doing is I'm just playing the odds and right now that was a really good pickup there that was so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep deleting them if they don't accept any of these guys that I'm up here I have a 20% chance and if they don't want to accept it fine they don't have to accept it but I'm gonna keep Kick him off the team and doing this over and over and over. So after doing this again, uh, we ended up getting a total of seven guys. And, uh, you know, we still have plenty of points left on doing this because I want to get most of these guys out right in the beginning. Because if I get these guys out right in the very beginning, then I'm going to have more points than I even need to be able to go after the best guys possible that are surefire deals for most of these other teams. I mean... You go to Terry Price, uh, going to face, you know, trying to go to Navy. Uh, Navy's, you know, it may sound shocking there, like, oh, well, Navy's not that tough. Navy is really tough uh, to recruit with. Navy's not the same Navy that you know. Uh, this Navy team is, like, fighting for the national championship. They're in the top three, like, every year. So it's not the same thing. Another thing you do if you really want to cheese the system is you could be saving in between this and then going back into it. But honestly, you don't need to do that. That's That's too much. Uh, you, there's a lot of cheese in this, but you don't need to cheese it to that degree. That's a little bit aggressive. But if you want to, just throwing it out there, you can do it. So I spent 5,100 of my 6,500 points, okay, getting all these guys in and doing this, pulling them off, picking back up, um, doing the same thing. Now it'll range for you, especially depending if you have one out of three in to commit, only one of the upgrades, or you have it fully upgraded. Uh, you know, it'll range. But you'll usually be able to get every single player that you want to get uh, within the first week. Every time. At least I do. So that's really what you want. Um, and then now, after this, like I don't have a whole crap load of points left. But I want to go after each one of these guys. So I offered each one of them a scholarship. Um, and I, I just want to go after them. You know, so... I'm going to add, I'm, and I'm only going to do it in huge increments. And I'm going I'm to probably do, so I'd go after him. And uh, I'm going to pick just like probably even the closest guys. Because the next step, what you can do is you can go on the list and look at all the number twos. The guys who have you have the number two interest, number three, number four, number five. If they're like five stars. You know, and, and that's typically what I would do. Um, but in this too, I'm going to just, I'm going to go after some of these guys like regardless. Like this guy would be a good one to go after. 
I'm in the second place. I'm down 155 points. Not too bad. So the other thing you want to think about is this. Some of these guys you may not get, right? Some of these guys, like, they're invested into that school. You're going to be having a fighting battle. But if you have to fight me every single week for guys that would normally just go to you, it, you know, you're not able to spend other points elsewhere. Okay, so I'm basically eliminating, I'm making you focus so much on my school and what I'm doing that you're not able to go, hey, I'm going to go get this guy and get into a battle with this other school because I can't just give this guy 500 points and save that, that extra 200. You know, I can't just give him 400 and then and beat this team. So these are things you want to think about. In ways, it's like chess. We have Rondi Graham and Patrick uh, Greco who all of a sudden, you know, we jumped up and we got in the first place. The rest of these guys, you know, we're going to be giving them 700 points and we're going to be going after them. And then we're going to do the same thing here with these guys. We're going to remove them because we already gave them scholarships. And then we're going to try to pick them up again. We got one so far, only two more to go. And I picked up this Allen Hall. I want to try to get him as well. Getting him from Iowa State is going to be hard because Iowa State has turned into a beast. This Rodney Graham guy took forever to get. However, we ended up picking him up. And now we have 15, like, five-star, four-star dudes so far. And it's only week two. So we really can't complain here. The rest of these guys, you know, we're going to try to make a push to, to bring them onto the team as well. So even if you're in a small school, right, all you have to do is you have to get the guys that are low-hanging fruit. So if you're in a one-star, two-star, three-star, and you got insta-commit, it's it's still easy. You're still, we'll show you what we got with Wyoming after this, and we were only on Wyoming for one year. So it's, it's really easy. And Wyoming is terrible, too. So it's really easy to do it. Get the low-hanging fruit, even if they're like 60-something overall, like 66 to, to above, hopefully in the 70s, if you can get lucky, get those guys. You know, don't don't go too low where the overall is terrible, but get those guys. And then after that, it's a numbers game. After you do that, so we already got this guy, Ray Rogers. Texas already had him. We dropped him off. We Chad Love, the guy who's the Michigan guy at first, and then all of a sudden switched to Navy. In one week, we got these guys, so I'm going to pull him off, and I'm going to do the same there. And let's say I finish my entire recruiting thing by week five, if I'm lucky enough, uh, which I've done that before. I have, I'll have a bunch of points just sitting there. So what I'll do is I'll strategize, and I'll go against teams that – Maybe that, you know, hey, they're they're a threat. And I'll put 700 points on these guys, even though I'm not getting them. Even though I know I'm not going to get them. Because of the fact that I want you to waste points. I want you to waste time. I want you to waste energy on players that you should easily have already have gotten. The other big thing, too, that you want to think about when these guys do come up on visits, you want to visit, you want to have them visit as soon as possible. Because the visit is going to increase your points drastically you know, even if you lose, you don't even have to win in doing this method. You really don't. Come on, dude. Accept it, bro. Uh, but here's the thing. You don't even have to, you know, it doesn't have to be a big game. It could be a freaking bye week. It really doesn't matter. Just get them to come in as soon as possible. And then if you somehow get first, then just keep doing this exact same thing. dude. This is the time. Oh, oh, I felt it. I could feel it in my bones. And what's great with uh, this guy, Tim Myrick, he uh, already committed. So this is great. And I scheduled all these guys like right away. You know, like I told you guys, we had to go take, you know, beat down. Um, we had to go beat down our boys at Georgia Tech. Uh, had to beat them down. You know, it was what it was. Nothing you could do about it. I told him that. I said, don't take this personal. It's just business. Listen up. So this guy too, Brown Calhoun, he's our boy. So we're gonna we're gonna get him on the old team. Look at this guy, Shane Royal, Alabama native. Say goodbye. Oh, this guy, here's our boy. This guy. Oh shoot, I didn't scout you. Oh, I did scout you. Why didn't it say scouting? 100%. That's some scary stuff. So we get him top schools. Guess what? Boom. Thank you very much. And then who's our boy here? Oh, there he is. Oh, there we go. Allen Hall. Take it easy. That was great. So we're in week seven, and we did get Shane Royal out of alabama we got the alabama native we also got alan hall away from iowa state and iowa state is a beast in this so we only got two guys left and it's really easy and at this point in time i would definitely recommend putting up a bunch of other guys on the board just waste it just give them a bunch of points and just make other teams suffer and i've had better recruiting classes but navy barely pulled this one out so i'll give it to them navy's a beast navy is an absolute beast 
in this uh, this NCAA that I'm playing. It's absolutely insane how good they are. Tennessee's getting really good too. Now we'll compete with this guy. I don't want to show you the end because I'll end up just giving this guy fifteen thousand if I can come close. I'm very get, I'm getting really close to actually being able to um, you know schedule him for a visit, and then after that, you know. I'll definitely compete at the end of the season. But I got to say, Terry Price, good work, Navy. Proud of you, boys. So as we sit right now without us getting that extra five-star player that more than likely we can get going against Tennessee, uh, we'd probably get 14 five-stars. But right now we only have 13 five-stars, um, nine four-stars, and one three-star. Not too bad. Could have done a little better, but uh, not not terrible. And you can see Navy, too. Navy, I told you Navy is good. Look at them at a Sun Belt. 93 overall, 91 overall offense, 93 defense, ranked third. They're always competing for the Natty. These boys are insane. Fantastic recruiting class. So 10 five-star players, six three-star, two four-star. No one even came close. I mean, it was this is just crazy. But and the other beautiful aspect about this is that, you know, I I don't really need them to be interested in me. Like that whole interest thing right in the beginning, it's an added bonus, obviously, to get the guys who like you first. But then after this, like the, these were the guys who are interested all the way up to Austin Whitehead. The rest of these guys really couldn't care less. And we ended up getting them all just because of this system. Uh, you know, we're going to end up going with a 70. I mean, it's just crazy. But anyways, you guys get the gist. Hope you guys enjoyed this. High ambitions in the right mind can take you so far. It's like you lived a few lifetimes.